most brands have absolutely no system for deciding what to make for their next Facebook ads. So what do we all do? We go, we copy competitors, we run random tests, we make creative decisions based on our emotional or gut feelings. After spending $30 million on meta ads and working with over 150 businesses, we've realized that creative strategy cannot be reactive. Nowadays, it actually has to be automated. In this video, I'll show you exactly how we are using no code, low code tools like N8N to build a future facing system that tells my team what angles to test, what hooks to iterate on, what creative types to build, all before performance drop. Let's get into it. So before all this, we were like many other agencies and media buyers in which we were coming up with new concepts, we were testing them and you know, we would track based on CPA targets. Essentially, we were always playing catch up to what the leading indicators of the KPIs were showing us. Now we plan ahead automatically, and I'm going to walk you through every single step of N8N and how we have automated our creative system so that our team knows what to produce next based on what's starting to work or not work. Because most brands either wait until ads die before making new creators, brief creators randomly, they test hooks without structure, this creates active burnout guesswork and honestly completely wasted budgets. So with all these solutions popping up with AI, I found the need to dive into some of these to understand what is needed in order to generate results. Let's get into N8N. So from a first standpoint, as you guys can see, we have just an insane amount of automations that we have built out. And if you are looking for more information of this, plus what we have in make.com, leave a comment down below. I'm happy to share more of this type of content. So importantly enough, what we need is to first look at what is it in regards to meta that we need to start making educated decisions. You can see there's a number of workflows that are working right now, more that are being built out constantly to truly make this happen. The first aspect is understanding the meta graph API. And I can do a whole video on how to set this up if you are looking, because this in itself and identifying this right here is critical depending on what type of business you are running. So what we want to do is we start running all ads with insights, process these results, graph API, we loop this over, we sort images with videos, page links, remove story IDs, merge. This is very just aggregation of data. What I want to get more into is these ones because this is where the sauce really happens. What we're doing here is we are benchmarking all of our ads, top 10, bottom 10. We're merging these, looping them over, analyzing each image with GPT-40 Mini in order to understand what is happening within that image. And if you guys want any of these prompts, leave a comment down below, happy to share these with you. All of it is pretty straightforward. The build's a little complicated, but I'm happy to share anything. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button. And so what we're starting to do is categorizing all of these, including this LLM chain, which is a straightforward analysis of all of the data. Where things start to get a little bit more saucy is we start to classify all of the ads going on within the ad account. Now, I'm going to show you that these are executing all of the time. I am not one of these guys who's going to show you a workflow that does not work. They are working perfectly. So what we're doing is through all of the assets that we are getting over here, which is literally coming from the Graph API, looping over, we are getting a promotional content, the emotional appeal is joy, the target audience, general consumer, no specific callouts, creative approach was lifestyle, and the call to action strength moderate. We are going through each and every one of them. You can see we have 50 images here. So the next one, promotional joy, general consumers, lifestyle. Let's go through 
This one, promotional, emotional appeal, security, budget conscious shoppers, problem solution, call to action, strength strong. Let's pick another one. Start going through. Hopefully this is not another promotion, but I don't know what these are. Content type, joy, general consumers, lifestyle, weak call out. So we start to categorize all of these. In the next phase, we're going through and we're looking for pattern recognition. This is going to be based on the previous data that has been coming through. And I've been nerding out on this because these tools will change your business. Essentially, what we're doing here is we're trying to identify any pattern that's taking place. Product-focused imagery, emotional appeal is aspirational, benefit-focused headlines, inclusion of social proof elements, the AI is generating all of these analysis based on this prompt in the format that we're sending it with all of this data from over here. Each of these loops over and we send to the next workflow, which is the product page analysis, where we're just pulling a simple HTTP request, scraping the product page linked to the ad that we have analyzed. And then this is where things get fun. So we have gone in and we have built a new idea prompt where we are taking all of the data, which you can see on this side, all of the correlating results, and we are putting together the perfect brief, at least this concept to start the brief, sneakerhead symmetry, perfect color matching, concept name, creative theme, core message, hook variations, message variations, the visual treatment, and the call to actions with performance predictions that we are now tracking to correlate whether or not these will actually work. So in theory, through all of these workflows, we now have an AI creative strategist that understands both data analysis and creative strategy based on the databases that we have set up in the SQL databases in Superbase that now tracks themes that have occurred to understand future outcomes better. So essentially, we have taken our processes, made them even better, and now have them automated through AI in these no-code N8N solutions that we are trying to refine on a daily basis. From here, we have our last step where we start to create the creative brief itself. Now the creative brief is going to be a little bit more detailed. So what we're doing now is we have this report that fires out and includes all of the top performing and bottom performing ads paired with what I just showed you in that last workflow of all the creative strategy. So my team every single Monday across all of our accounts gets these reports sent over so that we know next steps, next sprints, next ideation based on previous performance. Now, because we have that built out, we have this workflow and more that we're starting to build. And we have a chat message built around an AI agent that now gives us the ability to ask what are the top performing ads over the last seven days for this specific account. The chat then asks, which top performing KPIs are you looking for? ROAS, cost per purchase, click through rate. And because of how the SQL and, and Superbase is set up, we're able to act in real time. And we're calling this the quick wins agent so that we can quickly ask our AI agent, a real AI agent, a not a workflow, what are the things that are performing within this account that we can share with the client, that we can come up with our own ideas instead of always relying on the AI workflows. And this has been an immense game changer in how we're pulling this because we're now linking all of the data into our own database so that we can start to build amazing creative strategies backed by data. So if we know that an ad with a red background, with a hand, with the product performs at a 20% higher click-through rate and an 18% higher cost per purchase across the rest of the ad account, we know we get to double down on that idea based on these 
workflows. If you're looking for more information on N8N, any of the other assets and workflows that I have in here, leave a comment down below. I will start creating more content around e-com and how we are using AI to get Shopify reports, to analyze new customer data, to come up with the AMER and contribution margin in real time. It is an amazing time to be alive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you want more information on Facebook ads, click this video right up here. I have an hour and 15 minute training on how to execute Facebook ads in 2025. We'll see you there and see you in the next video.